Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I will be showing you another Lego mock that I've been working on. This is a Tatooine mock based on A New Hope, the fourth movie in Star Wars, and this mock took probably a little less than a week to make, and it's very similar to the Hoth mock, so let's take a look at it. Here is the mock altogether. So it is a Tatooine mock, which it has Luke Skywalker's hut, or Obi-Wan's hut, and then over here it has, like, most Eisley and shops from most Eisley. So it's it's kind of split into two sections. Like they're actually not connected. You can kind of separate them if you want to display them separately, which is probably something I will do. But I will go through each section like I did with the Hoth mock. With the first section, which is basically Obi-Wan's hut or partly the Lars family homestead, but not really. It's just the basically the outskirts of most Eisley, which is where they live. And as you can see, I used the Obi-Wan's hut Lego set here, and I just kind of put it on there, just stuck it on a base plate. This is two green base plates right next to each other. And I just stuck it on there, and then I put a bunch of sand around it. Then I added some of the moisture collector things. These I built myself. They're not a set. And then I also added a Luke's land speeder, because for some reason, I do not have a Luke's land speeder. And you can see when you lift it up, there's just green underneath, because I found out I don't have a lot of... Um, just flat tan bricks, so I really needed to use them all in other places, so I had to leave underneath the land speeder just green. But anyway, here's a closer look at my version of Luke's land speeder. I don't have very many of the colors they use, so I just had to improvise a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good, and it fits just right there over that green section. And then the story here is that Tusken Raiders are attacking Obi-Wan, and he is kind of defending himself. As you can see there, there is a um, a dead Tusken Raider there, that's kind of PG-13, but anyway, over here there's R2-D2 and C-3PO, and that is basically the whole first section. So here is the second section of the build. So like I said before, this section is like the Lars Homestead and Obi-Wan's Hut, and this section is the most Eisley outspurts, or just the outer part of the city. And as you can see, there are two buildings. This building I will get to later. So I will start with this building over here, which is supposed to be just like a random little shop on Tatooine. And I really liked making this tattered roof thing. It was very fun. I also like to make like the sand poking through on the sides. It's just, it was really fun to make. There's also like a smokestack on top. And if you look closely, you can see that they're selling weapons and they're also selling apple juice because the Mandalorian really likes his apple juice. And as you can see, it's a it's a very popular attraction for all the people of Tatooine. And then up front here, I have another one of those moisture collectors, just on a smaller scale. And then we also have Han Solo and Chewbacca stealing some kyber crystals. And you can also see two stormtroopers chasing after them. And I just filled in some kyber crystals in this cart here. Also up front, we have a Bantha. And we have a random alien person. I just put a bunch of random alien people all around Tatooine just because that seems like what most of the population is. And then he is just, op he's, I don't know what he's doing with his Bantha, but he's riding his Bantha in, let's just say that. And then over here in the alleyway, we have some flags hanging, and I, I really like making that. I think it adds a lot to the alleyway. <laughs> and then we also have a Jedi, but I'm just using him as a random Tatooine citizen. He's making something with his pot on the fire. Then over here I have some pipes and a smokestack on the side of this building that I'll get to. And I also have a generator here and some storage. And I really like making this because I need to fill in some of that empty space. And then in front of this building we have two stormtroopers, or one stormtrooper and one sand trooper. I don't really have any sand troopers, so I just used a bomb trooper as a sand trooper. And he is arresting a random person. Yay! Anyway, inside of this building that you've seen, I actually made an interior for it, and it is actually the most Isley Cantina. And I really enjoyed making the interior here. You can see there's the bar, there's some seating areas over here with Boba Fett, and then in the back over here, I have a droid playing some music. It's very fun. And anyway, I had a lot of fun making this bar just with all the gold and gray. It was a lot of fun also making this detailing right here. There's also a Wooher minifigure, although that's that's who the bartender for the Mos Eisley Cantina is supposed to be. Although I don't have him, so I just used an Anakin with a black hair piece. They also have some random aliens drinking this this clear liquid. And I also have a Stormtrooper back there. 
And that is the whole interior of the Mos Eisley Cantina and the whole second section. Overall, I think this was really fun and I'm glad I made it, even though it was really annoying not having enough of these tan pieces. Even underneath the Bantha, there's some green peeking through. Ugh, that was so annoying. Anyway, I think it was worth it overall and I'm really glad I made it. So that's my Lego Tatooine mock. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.